Hello, weird tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by Brett of Enomyces, checking out some more awesome beer. We've got in a few beer mails from the states, or actually one gigantic one. And uh, this is some some beers that a lot of people who are in the states that watch our reviews of European lagers that are amazing said that we should check out. They're like, check out Suarez, please. Yeah. They want to know if we think they hold up with some of the best in Europe, like Sentna. And Genstella, which is some of my all-time favorite lager producers, uh, at least in Germany. Mm. And these are German pilsners, so that's a good reference. So yeah, Suarez, uh, family brewers, very well known for saisons, but also pilsners. But I think they also do hazies, don't they? Uh, maybe, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not too well versed in their uh, you know, portfolio of beers. Me neither. Because it's never really been... Has it even been to NBCC? I don't think so. No. Uh, but Hopefully it will. Dan Suarez was his name, right? The and then Suarez, yeah. And he's worked at Hill Farmstead as an assistant brewer. So, yeah. And you can see some connotations in some of the things I briefly saw they make. Yeah. But we're checking out two of their lagers, and I'm very impressed. They only give their lagers uh, three months of shelf life. So they want you to drink these lagers really fresh. It's pretty awesome. But mm. still, it, I think they could, could, could last maybe six months. Mm. But if you want that full impression, I guess three is pretty good. But yeah. yeah. We got two to check out here, and we got Palatine Pilsner, which is 4.8%, and they're a 5% Qualify Pilsner. German, this one here, and this one says Well Hopped German. So uh, I'm guessing, just by looking at them, this could be a bit more Southern Franconian style or something like that, because not it doesn't look as carbonated, uh, and if it's less hoppy, because often those are more sweeter and, and malty but maybe not as sweet and malty as mm. hell is even though sometimes it can be really hard to distinguish a franconian pilsner and a franconian hell is. yeah uh, but i think we should start out with palatine their yeah. house pilsner yes it looks very nice slightly hazy in the last yeah it is very golden yellow um, i want to be quite hazy yeah for a long the first bits we poured out weren't too bad and qualify is a bit clearer, yeah. but I think it's also partly chill haze. Mm. But maybe they do Palatine just slightly unfiltered. But yeah. I also didn't, you know, I poured in everything because it's lagers. But it looks nice, yeah. white, fluffy head. Let's take a the aroma. That smells mm. really nice, really ready. It yeah. smells so South German. Like it does. So much uh, freshly baked bread. Yeah. I will say. And freshly, like. Brewed, oh no, baked uh, crackers. Yeah, I will say it's not as intense on those vibes as Genstela mm -mm. was, uh, but it certainly is very South German in profile. It smells yeah. really good. It does. Very nice, Super soft, clean. peppery uh, hop character. Yeah. There is a bit of like a floral edge, but it's quite peppery, I think, yeah. and woody. Yeah. But yeah, super soft and delicate and, and, and really also fairly expressive. I mean, yeah, 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 I would say so. It's, yeah, I think it, it's it's not insanely floral, but I no, think it's quite still, a bit. There's a little still. bit. I think it's this one smells like it's the one with like more balance between malt and hops. You yeah, know, it's not one of those yeah. crazy yeah, hop it's centric. Not crazy hop hoppy, uh, no, but it smells really good. It smells like what I want to drink after yeah. work. So cheers. cheers, let's try it. Mmm. Oh, that's really mm. good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Wow, perfect carbonation for a South German yeah. Pilsner, but, if that's what they're aiming for. But also for. Uh, that malt yeah. flavor is just bang It on. is, yeah, totally. It is all about soft, biscuity, and freshly baked mm -hmm. loaves of like wheat bread or something like that. And that like super crisp Pilsner malt flavor. Yeah. It's also crisp, it's which really is what crisp. I want from these German lagers. And it's, it's kind of soft like bitterness. Freshly baked bread and freshly baked crackers. A mm. bit of like a peppery bite mid midway through, like yeah. mid palate. And I think it's like a black pepper and white pepper and yeah. a woody hop character with underlying grassiness and floral notes. Yeah, I think I, it's mostly floral, not that super grassy. But I think it's a little bit, but there's it's definitely floral too. Mm. But loads of, I, I think like a peppery thing is most dominant. So yeah. it could be like Perle or maybe Sass, that's part of the hop in here. Could also be a little bit of Tetnang for that mm. matter, because that can also go in that direction. And maybe they even add, a, you know, some of those hops together. You never know. Yeah. Uh, That's really good. What a crusher. This is really good. It's very close to something like Genstilla's lagers, I'd say. Yeah. It they is. were a bit more expressive maybe, but when we had those, they were also, you know, just yeah, tap straight from the brewery. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
but fuck, there's really, really good pills there. Yeah, it is. It sure is. So, and as you say, if it's meant to be like a South German one, it's perfect with the carbonation. Yeah. It makes sense if it's more of like a totally. South German traditionally, at least, uh, pilsner. Yeah. So. Also because it's a little bit too snappy and bitter to be a Helles. Yeah. Helles are usually, they can be really hot forward, but mm. they don't have this, the same, sna they're even softer and maltier, <clears throat> but often with a good amount of hop character. Uh, but but they don't have the same snap as this. Nope. So it does present itself more like a South German Pilsner. Yeah, I think so. Well, mm. maybe it's something that's a bit more North German in style, at least, again, traditionally. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, this is just a guess. The head on this one looks so much nicer yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. fluffier, but I think it's also because it's higher carbonated. You can just see the carbonation streaming from the bottom of the glass. Yeah. It's also a little bit less hazy. I mean, yeah, there is a bit of haze to it, but it's... It's fairly it's clear. Not, yeah. It's nothing crazy. I think maybe my glass is a bit more hazy than yours, isn't it? Yeah, but that's because I wiped off. Well, I also just did Oh, okay. It. So yeah. I think there's just a little bit of sediment in the cans. Yeah. But you get that, but it looks beautiful. I love that tiny, yeah. you know, soft carbonation streaming on the side yeah. of the glass and that tight white head on there. It looks really nice. It looks it, like it should. Yeah, just slightly more yellow in color, but yeah. they're just very similar. Yeah. But yeah, let's see what the aroma. Yeah. Oh yeah, That's that smells like middle for you. Yeah. It's super, this smells so much like the Pilsners I want to drink. Yeah. It is supercharged floral floral and, um, citric. and uh, citric and elderflower. Yeah, like. lemony and lemon, uh, elderflower. Oh man, I could drink this all day. I could drink this all day too, but this smells also like something yeah. I could drink all day. Yeah. Man, it's less crackery because there's so much malt character, but it's got a little bit of that crackery and also ready doughy mm. feel. But it's definitely just more hop accentuated, it's, it's which is what I want in a Pilsner. Yeah. Uh, that's, I always go for the more hop centric yeah. Pilsners. Um, Me too. But yeah, so. I like this. Also a bit of pepper on this one, but much more expressive. Yeah. Let's try cheese. At least on the hops. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow, that's really good. But they're really soft. Mm. They're so soft. I could yeah. actually use a bit more aroma hops in this. There is a good amount, but mm. just a tad bit more. But it's really good. Uh, I'm not sure if it is middle for you actually. I, it's probably a mix of hops because there it it has that sort of lemony. I think. Yeah, but I think it also really transitions into that uh, peppery character and woody character mm. after all the yeah. kind of bright fruit floral. But fruit. I'm getting a bit, quite a bit of like a lemon pith mm. thing with this one. And it's then, basically up front and on the tip of your tongue. Mm. I could it could use more bitterness too for me. I expected maybe to have a, just a tad touch more carbonation mm -hmm. and yeah maybe a touch more bitterness, but it snaps a bit more than Palantine. Yeah, it does, but it could snap a bit more. But it, what this does is it makes them hugely drinkable. I will yeah. say. The Both. mouthfeel is really nice. Yeah, I mean, they're really fluffy and light and well coating. Mm. Um, great lagers. Yeah, they are. But, Genstela and Sentna is better still, in my mind. Well, we haven't had stuff like this from Sentna, so I couldn't No, say. but they're killer pills. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's it's a Pilsner, it inter a killer interpretation of a Pilsner, but they're mm. quite snappy. And also just think of the Pilsner from from Ginstel. That was crazy snappy. But yeah. you were thinking it was almost too much uh, or on the edge. But mm. I think those are like those are. Yeah, I think that one had a bit too much of like a bite or just like a yeah yeah. But this one has a, a little bit too little of a bite. Mm. I think, and this is just nitpicking. These are phenomenal lagers. Yeah, phenomenal lagers. But again, that's. I'm also, glad I have extra cans. I, I'd say Icta is better than this. Mm. Icta builds. Mm. And that's probably sure. still my. It is my favorite North and North German style yeah. pilsner. Mm, just hoppy it's pilsner. Just fantastic. You want to call it that? Yeah, that's yeah, a fantastic beer. It yeah. snaps as it's supposed. Like the, also one of the things with these, they have these really soft mouthfeels, which is really nice, but they're both lacking. A, they're snappy, but they're lacking a bit more snap. Yeah. Like. I, I like pilsners that really snap. Mm -hmm. If they're supposed to, you know, this is probably, I'd imagine this is the style they do. Yeah, just it seems really delicate. Yeah, it seems very much like Hill Farmstead in terms of uh, delicacy and fluffiness yeah. and all this. And which is really nice because it makes it total crushers and I'm yeah. gonna have no problem chugging, you know, drinking 
<laughs> my extra cans. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, I don't think they're as good as what we get here. And that's just not at because... Least not the very best. Yeah. But, but because they are better than most. They are, they are. <laughs> There's loads of, yeah. you know, huge family brewers or family, small family brewers in Germany that just makes mediocre lagers. Uh, but... There's just a few, you know, a handful of brewers that does it really well. And, and you know, as you said, um, OO as well. Yeah, and these are really it. fresh. They're, you know, not even three months. Mm. So it's really fresh cans of, of, of lager. Yeah. yeah. I'm just missing a bit of, a, you know, more of a snap, more of a bitterness. At least with this one. At least with this one, yeah. But this one is, is it both are dead on style wise. Mm. And they're fantastic beers. Yeah. But like even I guess the, it's also the, the Schneider Naga we recently had, I felt like that was a bit more yeah, flavorsome than these, even though that was a Helles. Yeah, I'd say they are probably around the level of something like Mars. Yeah, totally. But a notch above, maybe just a slight notch above, because I feel yeah. like they have a bit more complexity. Yeah, but I actually think I would put these on the same level as uh, Mars Killer Beer. Yeah. How I think that one has a bit more complexity. I think that one is better than the Pilsner. Yeah, yeah. It's, better. it's also one of the most, always one of the most famous. Yeah. But I, I agree. It's around that level. Like yeah. for me, I would put these around early 90s, probably yeah. like a straight 90 for Palantine Pils and then maybe a 92 for 91 for, mm. for Qualify. They are amazing Pilsners, but they do not reach the world class 95 plus as Sentma and Kinshva. And, but neither does Mars. Mars is like early 90s as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe 90, 90, 91, straight, yeah, straight 90 and yeah, 92-ish. Yeah. Uh, because this one is definitely my favorite, just mm -hmm. because it's more hoppy. Yeah. But they're really good and I totally see why Americans are really stoked on them. Yeah. Also because for them to get really fresh lagers from Europe is hard. Mm. It is. It's, 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 it has to be done like what Schlenkana, for example, does, where they ship over a whole tank. Yeah. That's canned in the states. Yeah. But even Schlenkala's Hillis, I feel like, are be it's a better lager beer than this. And I also think that that's more hoppy than these. Mm. That's a Hillis, but yeah. it's not bitter. It's just more hop flavorful, yeah. and it has that hint of smoke. But it could be that this one is quite hoppy when it's just being canned. Of course, of course, yeah, and it so. probably is. But um, I would love to go and visit Suarez mm. and drink these because this is probably some of the closest you can find to like some of the really really good. Yeah. European stuff. Yeah. The more I drink this, also the more I'm really enjoying it. Mm. But I've really seen a lot of people super really, 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 really rave about these. Yeah. But I really think, you know, there are still stuff equally good and better in Europe. Yeah, yeah. But again, if we had it straight at the brewery, we might think otherwise. It's yeah. definitely something I just want to sit with a pint of in this one. I'm glad mm. we're sharing two cans, so yeah. we're taking and having a full can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. lagers are best drank by the pint. Mm. And then you, you know, if you drink it and you're quaffed and oh, this is fantastic, you know, it's fantastic as well. When after that point, you're like, let me just have another, please. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, I more or less agree. Like straight 90 in this one, maybe a small 92 on this one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, they're really good. I'm glad we've got to try some. There's a lot of breweries in the, in the US really focusing on these yeah. styles now. Which is yeah, awesome. It's great. So, you know, they're just going to get better and better. Just get more diversity <laughs> That's what's into craft beer. Yeah, you know, Please. instead of just haze and pastry and yeah, yeah. kettle sours. <laughs> but, but the thing is, with these as well, you know, what they've already done in the States with, like, uh, spontaneous beers and whatnot, they're getting so close mm. to the real deal that it's like, if you're in the States, you might as well get that. They're mm. going to get, you know, there at one point with some, something. Like Probably. This. And maybe they are at that point when these are just straight from the cellar at the brewery. It, like... Yeah. Having lager straight at the source is the shizzle, yeah. my friends. If you haven't yeah. done it, go do it. It is something else. Yeah. So Like last summer at Abertoft. <laughs> exactly. It's awesome. So if you guys have had a chance to try either Palatine pills from Suarez, or if you've had Qualify pills, let us know what you thought of them. Very good Pilsners, worth a shot, 100%. Would you trade for these, or should you? If you're a lager fan. And if, if you're, you're not, in the US, probably. Yeah. In Europe, it might be, yeah, I don't know. You can usually buy these on Facebook groups and whatnot. Mm. So, uh, but I think they're definitely worth a shot. But if in Europe, you should maybe support some European ones that are easier to get yeah, because they are better and cheaper. Good over like against them, it's two point five euros a can. Yeah, this ended up being around hundred mm. something a can because of shipping and all that. But that's how it is when you import. 
but you know, they're really good. So if you guys had a chance to try either of these, let us know what you thought of them. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're gonna say cheers. Yep. And some delicious pilsners. Cheers. And see you guys in another video.